Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to crack a wireless network encrypted with WEP. Just a reminder though, uh, do not do this on anyone else's network but your own as it is illegal and you can get in a lot of trouble for it. So on we go, you can see that I'm using Backtrack 4 here. Uh, it's actually out in beta right now but this actually applies to Backtrack 3 as well so all the settings and uh, commands I will be using will completely comply with Backtrack 3. So what we're going to do is open up a new console window here, and uh, the console will come up, and we want to type airmon-ng. Pressing enter, and you can see that right here we have our wireless interface. And what that is is basically this command brings up all wireless interfaces for the computer. So we'll start again. Type in airmon-ng. You can press tab when you're halfway through the command, and it'll finish the command for you and then type start and type WLAN 0 and this may be different for you it may be RAUSB 0 or something else but this applies to my computer so this is what I'm using and we will press enter what this does is put our device into monitor mode and you can see it is monitor mode enabled on MON 0 and that is what we'll be using from now on MON 0 so now we want to do aero dump dash ng space mon zero and again it may be something else for you it will tell you right here for your computer and what this command will do is it will look all over the wireless networks to find anything that's out there and it'll just basically list them here and as you can see it will bring up mine here in a few seconds fusion network right here this is mine and uh, I've only got one client connected to it for the purposes of this tutorial and what we're going to do is press control C and this will cancel the currently running program and uh, right here this is our ESSID basically it means the name of the network but it also has an address which is called the BSSID this is what's important so we want to highlight this and copy it now what we're going to do is type a uh, long command here I'll explain everything that's going on so we'll type arrow dump and again you can just press tab to finish the command and type dash dash BS S ID and space and then insert our, com our uh, address and paste it and that's going to say only show this address and then we also want to show or, or tell the program to only use a certain channel which is channel 6 right here so we'll type in dash dash channel and put 6 and that's only going to search this network and it will make it a lot easier to crack our wireless password and then we're going to also push put in dash dash IVS which means only use the uh, the actual IVs that will be crucial for the cracking process and we're going to do da dash W which is going to say what we want to name the file and I'm just going to name it uh, Fusion I always like to name it the network that I'm cracking for whoever I'm working for the day because it's easy for me to remember and then after that again we'll follow up with mon0 which we'll be doing with all our commands and you can see it's only watching my address on this channel and right now we're done with that so we're going to open up a new terminal alright the next part in the process is we'll be using what's called air replay dash ng so type that in I'm just going to show you all some commands what we're going to be doing is a fragment attack today and so what I'm going to do is type in or just press the up arrow and bring up the last command and type in dash 5 you could also do dash dash fragment, the dash five is shorter, so that's what I just do. And what we'll be doing now is putting in dash b for bssid, and we'll again insert our our uh, bssid right here. So it's going to be zero zero two three six nine one eight d four seven d. Somehow that got uncopied, so I'm going to copy that real quick because we will use it a lot to make sure to write this down. Or have it somewhere safe because it will be something you will be using throughout this tutorial. And uh, follow with mon0 because we want to specify which interface we are using. It's going to ask you do you want to use this packet and generally you can just press Y for yes and it will start working. Um, we always follow mon0 which is the device that is in monitor mode following the command where it be arrow dump or air replay because 
how these programs work is it uses the very last uh, command at the end of the string that we put in and it will say okay that must be the monitor interface which I will be using and that's why we always put it in just a little tip for you there now we can generally wait for this to happen and it will find out get the little fragment that we need but I can show you a little trick that sometimes helps to speed it up so again we'll be doing air replay and now I'm going to press 3 again just to show you okay what we'll be doing is fake authentication with AP AP stands for access point basically this is going to trick the access point into thinking, thinking we're authenticated and it'll help, help us get the packet that we need a fragment packet basically and so I'm going to do air replay again and do dash one and you can see right here that says after the command that we could use fake off that has delay and you can just set that to one this is fine for now in, in different situations if you're far away from the uh, access point that you're trying to crack but if it's yours then you will be a uh, might want to use a higher number but generally that's not the case and so we have dash one and then one and we'll be doing dash b and putting in our BSS ID again. Oh. So go ahead and type that in. Alright. And then again, we're going to follow it with mon zero. And again, this only applies to my computer. It might apply to you. It might not. Oh, some commands require you to use dash B. I mean dash A instead of dash B for the BSS ID. Why this is, I still haven't figured out. And this is going to help the uh, fragment program to uh, get the following packet that we need faster. So we're going to let this run until we get the fragment, and then I will be joining you back. All right, we've got our fragment. It says saving keystream in fragment. So you can close this out as we no longer need it. And you can it says you can now build a packet with packet forge ng out of the 1500 bytes keystream. All right, that's what we have been looking for. So what we're gonna do is just what it says. Open up packet forge by typing it in packet forge, and then I just tabbed it out. And um, I'm gonna show you the command here.